In the face of escalating threats from China and North Korea, Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida has reiterated his commitment to investigate all alternatives, including gaining enemy base strike capability. With North Korea continuing to test fire ballistic missiles while advancing its capability, and China pursuing a military buildup and increasingly assertive activity in the region, Kishida said at his first troop review on Saturday that the security situation in the region is rapidly changing and that the reality is severer than ever. In an address to hundreds of ground self defense force members in olive colored helmets and uniforms, Kishida said, I will explore all possibilities, including owning so called enemy base strike capacity, to seek building of defense power that is necessary. At Saturday's self defense force military review held at the main army base camp Osaka, north of Tokyo, Kishida, who entered office in October, acted as top commander for the first time. According to the Ministry of Defense, about 800 servicemen came for the inspection. The security environment surrounding Japan has been developing at a breakneck pace. Things that used to only happen in science fiction novels are now a reality, according to Kishida. He stated that his government will lead reasonable and calm dialogues in order to identify what is required to protect people's lives and earn their understanding. The idea of having so-called enemy base strike capability has been a contentious subject in Japan, with opponents claiming it breaches the country's war-free constitution. Kishida has switched from a dovish to a hawkish posture, ostensibly to appease prominent members of his ruling party, including former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, and to consolidate his position. He now calls for increased military capacity and spending in Japan.